Lord Howe Island, here once lived one of the largest insects of its time. But in 1918, a supply ship by the name of the SS Macambo ran aground, requiring temporary evacuation. Stowaway rats had escaped and quickly took a liking to the abundant natives. This would be the beginning of the end for the Lord Howe Island stick insect, and by 1930, the species was believed to have gone extinct. That is, until over 30 years later, when rumor of the bug's existence started to circulate. Interestingly enough, not at Lord Howe Island, but on a protruding jagged structure of volcanic rock 20 kilometers away. After several failed expeditions to recover live specimens, in 2001, scientists finally found what they were looking for. An isolated population of 24 individuals living under a single Melaleuca shrub, high up in the crevice of a cliff. How they got up there and survived for so long is a mystery. After this discovery, it was eventually decided exactly four bugs, no more, no less, would be retrieved in hopes of breeding them. Two were given to a private breeder with considerable knowledge, but they unfortunately passed away only a couple weeks later. The remaining two were placed in the hands of Patrick Honan from the Melbourne Zoo, and fittingly named Adam and Eve. Both lived up to expectation and went on to procreate, and as of April 2012, over 9,000 have been bred. The success of witnessing a species come back from the brink of extinction is truly inspiring, but now an even bigger challenge lies ahead in creating a viable habitat for the Lord Howe Island stick insect to inhabit will be no easy task. To find out more, check out the Melbourne Zoo's website in the link below. And once again, thanks for tuning in and giddy up.